What is up, guys? Yeah, Ian here from CoCreate today, taking that mindset of lack to mindset of abundance. Today, I just want to talk about energy, and that's a very, very uh, blunt, um, very like um, non-specific genre, but we're gonna take this uh, to a lot of places. So, the first place that we gotta hit is what is energy? You know, energy can mean a lot of things, and uh, our day and age, uh, we think of energy more as uh, power or something that gets something moving. And when we uh, take a physics class, what they're going to teach us is we have two different types of energy. We have potential and we have kinetic. Now, let's say that I have this can of energy drink. Now, in my hand, as it is, it has potential energy. But the second that my hand is gone, it has uh, kinetic energy because it's moving. And we can understand that in a physical way because one is stationary and one is moving. And when something is moving, it's uh, they're called, therefore called kinetic energy, meaning that it has kinesthetics, it's moving, it's, it's uh, free flowing. Now, what if we take that on a more of a uh, like philosophical side? I mean, yeah, we hear about energy all the time, but what does that really mean? How can we um, actually have that in our life? I know, I know it's one thing to jump in your car and drive, but how can we sit here and we can, we can talk about, oh, I have a lot of energy today, or wow, I'm really tired, I, I don't have energy right now. Well, that's, what, that's why we're here to um, explain a few things because by and large, uh, energy is always there. Like I said, there's potential energy and when it's moving, it's kinetic. Now, if we can take that concept and kind of bring it into our own lives and our own feelings, we realize that we have potential energy all the time. And it's not until we feel ecstatic and we're hype off caffeine or uh, energy drinks that we feel that kinetic energy within us. Now, my whole theory and whole purpose of going out every day and building uh, my sense of identity and sense of uh, like realization is how can I take my potential energy and use it and become a very energetic being and how can I be how can I feel good all the time? And these are the questions that I ask myself quite often. It's like, I see my mentor and he's just so ecstatic. It's, he's so happy. He's just like, just a ball of energy. And like, I just, I question just like, how is he like that? How does he get the energy that he needs to perform the way that he does? And from what I can tell is he gets energy from other people, but he also gets energy from being alone and um, doing his silent meditations and his uh, gratitude. See, that's why I think uh, talking about energy is so like powerful because our day and age, we're so confused. We don't know the difference between uh, kinetic and potential and we don't know how to use that in our lives. And what I want to throw out there is this idea of introverted and extroverted. Now, let's say, for example, that introverted, introverted uh, states of mind could potentially be potential uh, energy. And you like how I say potentially potential? Yeah. So let's say that extrovert, um, your extroverted state of mind is potentially kinetic energy. Now, each is energy and each is very powerful in its own uh, like reference. So how can we use these, these two polar opposites to combine into one and to create straight abundance? And that's why we wanna find a silver lining and 
I think that's where energy uh, is really used. It's it's finding the the um, the position where kinetic and potential are like literally um, equal in their components of each other. It's kind of like how a, a combustion engine works. I mean, yeah, it's sparking, but it goes around a, like a piston and the piston's um, hitting a high and hitting a low. And at the, at the highest point is when it has the most potential energy. And at the lowest point, it has to have the most kinetic energy. So we can take that concept and live each day as if we found that silver lining. Now, how do we do that? Well, I would really suggest looking into meditation. Meditation is so crucial. Um, it really grounds you. It, it changes your state of mind. It gives you a sense of gratitude. It gives you uh, clarity. And if we don't meditate ever so often, we never uh, get to that state of frame and we don't really appreciate the lifestyle we're living. Now, on the other side, I think we need to become more extroverted. We need to be able to connect with people. I mean, yeah, we're connected to so many people with social media, but are you really connected? Do you really know how to go out of your way and get to know people? Like today, I met my neighbor, his name is Bryce. And the way that I really framed the conversation is that I gave him value um, very quickly. Um, and he also gave me value right back. And because of that, we built a, a relationship where he can always come to us and I can always come to him in times of trouble. And that's what I talk, that's what I'm meaning when I talk about connecting, connecting. Are you really connected? Are you connected with the other people? Are you connected with the people you live with? Are you connected with the people you're surrounding yourself with? Because if you're not, and if you're not being yourself, you're never going to have the full potential energy that you're <laughs> supposed to have. So these might be total drastic differences, but they are the same. And that's kind of the concept of, of life is you have the sun and you have the moon. They might be totally different things, but one produces day and one produces night. And you would never know what uh, time of day is if you didn't have either and that's what we're talking about is you would never know what energy is if you didn't have some and if you didn't have none and that's why we're connecting the potential and we're connecting the kinetic to have e equal portions to create the silver lining of abundance and that abundance is going to give us all the energy that we need to pursue the dreams that we are meant to live and pursue because that's why we're here we're supposed to live the best possible lives ever and we're supposed to experience phenomenal things in this life and you again you wouldn't know these phenomenal things if you didn't have like lows or you didn't have bad times but that's not to say that the the lows outweigh the highs no it doesn't have to it doesn't have to be that way it can be whatever you want it to be and until you find that silver lining, you'll always be in question of, of what am I supposed to be doing? What am I supposed to be living? What is this life for? You'll never find that if you don't connect the two together. You, don't, you need to connect the two ends, the polar scale together. You need to know that hot and cold together make the temperature who you are and once we find who we are then we can just explode with true abundance and we're able to share that to create more and more and more and more and more abundance you know uh, the biggest thing for me is yeah I, I might have energy now but I want to create such a beautiful life and effect and um, have an impact on so many people that my energy continues. You know, the reason why I know who uh, Napoleon Bonaparte, uh, Benjamin Franklin, Abraham Lincoln are is because their energy was so 
strong and it still lives today. And if we can take that mindset and live each day to our fullest potential as if it was our last, then that's how we raise our energy for uh, eternity and um, and some more. So I hope you guys like this video. If you like these videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. Other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and I'll catch you later. Namaste.